all these assignments will be will be kind of uh, you know kind of task to you like like you have to observe uh, uh, observe your behavior your way of understanding these problems that's one thing and second whenever we are giving an assignment to you uh, it is expected that you will be you know adding the details based on your understand some of uh, students have just taken the detail from uh, from the internet and just replied or responded uh, to this assignment so this time i will be okay but in upcoming assignments uh, you you need to be a little honest right you can write a brief detail about it uh, because it is a task to you it is not just a formality right uh, because each and everything each and every assignment which we will be pushing to you uh, will have some opportunity to understand a scenario or maybe uh, you know having an idea that how to prepare the conceptual solution for it uh, this this entire course is about that like how to how to design a search process how to design a search system or retrieval process so that's why we are pushing some scenarios and these scenarios are maybe re related to the daily to daily uh, life or it, it may be some experience on some platform right uh, in upcoming assignment will will uh, we will be pushing you some questions to you on a specific data set uh, and that is well well established data set so there you need to verify you know existing existing uh, search systems and uh, it is just to develop an understanding that how to evaluate the search system as a programmer right as a user we are using these search systems such platforms from the at least from the last 5 to 6 years but as a designer what are the things we should be having as a, as a aptitude to evaluate the system performance right so that uh, next assignment uh, will be will be available to you by maybe uh, mid of next week right so three assignments have been placed well before mid semester 1 that is one thing. Second thing, uh, there will be a class test uh, that is placed on the first week of, I think, Feb, just before uh, the mid semester one. So it, that class test will have entire details. Question, it will class test one will have questions related to all the details which we have discussed right before that test. So these are the two things I, I'm sharing. Uh, this week we'll have only two lectures because 26 is a holiday uh, there will be no lectures if you need we can do but as per the schedule it is a holiday non-working day so we'll have only two lectures this week and in these two lectures today like we are going to discuss uh, a part which is saying that can you identify the challenges right so it is a very crude uh, unorganized kind of discussion today like uh, for your assignment also you have you have you know experiences something you have experienced something something like uh, okay uh, so suppose i am trying to design a such system what could be the possible challenge i have faced or what are the challenges you have faced at all right so based on because whenever we are talking about designing a solution or designing a system you should be aware of all these issues all these challenges so i am using now two terms challenges and issues right so challenges are something which are there and which will be there for for uh, for the future system development also right like if you correlate this factor uh, with with the social some of the social challenges right uh, you can see that challenge is one aspect and well within that challenge we could have many issues, many, many uh, thread issues actually. So it is kind of again, same hierarchy, which is like multi program and program and task program and thread. Like in one program, we could have multiple threads. So naturally for program itself, we have some, 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 you know, computational tasks which are to perform and within a program we could have many threads many uh, small scale computing tasks to deal to deal with different uh, challenges right so let let me take one example where we can have clearly highlighting this importance of challenge and issue right like in india uh, if you take social example uh, women empowerment is a challenge right 
women empowerment is a challenge now you can you can observe some of the issues related to it issues means in any any maybe localized maybe uh, a particular concern which is related to uh, which is uh, limited to a certain religion which is causing the causing the problem of or uh, causing the challenge to this particular social uh, women empowerment big thing right so there are many which are affecting the overall empowerment which are affecting which are resulting in adverse way to this women women empowerment part so there are many co located issues so this is how we are also doing in the case of um, your project work or maybe your your thesis work whenever we are you know exploring to certain research area the very first thing we observe what are the different challenges and you cannot take challenge as a your your thesis work actually because if you are dealing with a challenge you have to develop you have to touch upon these many issues right so if you talk about you know designing a retrieval retrieval system it means you are talking about all these components which are placed here evaluation ranking and matching so if you are talking about designing a retrieval framework retrieval model you should be having uh, something for each these placed modules or components right similarly for if you are talking about uh, proposing a new framework for uh, data processing or uh, pre processing block or maybe indexing block it means you you are emphasizing the importance of creating new text acquisition approach new transformation approach and new indexing uh, indexing kind of mechanism right so that's what is the broader picture and and now because this assignment is given to you and it is to understand that for each specific step or each specific target or for each specific challenges what is your experience for that purpose right so when we have observed this part in the previous discussion that uh, okay in a such system these are the possible computing blocks or thread level computing we could have right now if you see them i mean if you see this this particular block where we have placed different components and in this block you can say in the information retrieval block or sometimes it is called query block also uh, we have placed evaluation system evaluation compute evaluation module uh, is to is to log the different things and maintain the performance constraints we will be elaborating all these things now within the evaluation component we will be recording all these logs so logs could be of queries possible queries possible results for a queries both ways right so each and everything we will be recording logging now logging means all the things which are coming from the user and for the user by the system uh, performance constraint naturally we can we can impose some constraints right so there is there is there is this big confusion among the student that uh, suppose we are saying precise precision is one of the performance constraint in in the case of any uh, search system or any system which is extracting something right even in the prediction based system also we are using this criteria called precision and recall so sometimes it is being asked why we are we are imposing this precision and recall constraints on the evaluation of evaluation of system at at this stage why could not placed in the background right so we will clarifying all these doubts now along with the evaluation we are having matching and ranking components here ranking and matching right it is to so the the role of these two have something or some logics for scoring scoring the importance of results uh, and how to optimize the relevance relevance and how to attain some ranked results with respect to user query right so for for these three elements scoring relevance is optimization and ranking we could have three different mechanism we could have three algorithm we could have three formula three criteria anything which you can say right so basically if i assume, if i assume that okay i am going to work upon a retrieval 
framework, I have to propose something for these three components, evaluation, matching, ranking, right? It could be a simple three different algorithm for three different elements, for the three different, uh, you know, modules. One could be for evaluation, other could be matching, other for ranking, right? So it, it could be any way, but we have to touch upon all these elements because these are the, these are the related modules, right? And that's what we are doing in the in the case of integration level. So in the in the first level, in the first stage, we design these components individually. Then in the second phase or second level, we combine all these, we, we integrate all these uh, different modules and then see the performance of overall retrieval module, retrieval block. Now, in, in the pre-processing, which is which is the you know, which is the basis of success of this such system in the pre-processing or maybe indexing block this side we have text acquisition where you can have a crawler system or feeder system uh, then 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 we have our text transformation right text transformation is placed here and at the last we'll have indexer or indexing mechanism right so within the text text transformation block you could have different different, uh, rather I can say algorithm, different procedure, different technique for parsing, for uh, there is a mechanism called stop word removal, which is called stopping also. Uh, then stemming, you might have heard about this term stemming, link is extractor and classifier. So there are these, these different uh, micro level kind of computing tasks. So within uh, this tra text transformation, which is our module here, we could have these many micro level tasks. And believe me, till today, there are n number of algorithms are being proposed, designed as a research work for, it could be for stemming, it could be of, it could be for parsing, it could be for classif creating a classifier, All right? And naturally, if you plug this classifier, which you have proposed into a search system, right, you have addressed one of the issue of search system. And by this way, by having new or novel classifier, a novel link extractor, a novel crawler program, you can say that we have improved the overall search system performance. You can, you can claim that, okay, my search system for certain application is, is having a improved, significantly improved performance. And this is how we are doing as a research domain of information retrieval, research domain of such system design. I mean, because designing a search system requires, it requires five to six years of efforts of maybe 10 or 20 people because it requires touching upon different elements but you can always address one of the aspect of it, right? One of the internal aspect of a such system of a retrieval process of an indexing process. That's what the emphasis is. Now, similarly in the indexer or indexing program, indexer as a computing block, you can propose a new approach or new mechanism to generate these statistical values. To identify the indexing, like TF IDF, TF is is one of the first generational uh, document based uh, uh, statistics values which are being used when we are indexing terms, right? Then there could be different mechanism for it for weighting. There is a different mechanism for creating indexes, right? So maybe in the upcoming week we will discuss that how and uh, how, how we are using different different uh, uh, retrieval models retrieval models is, is retrieval model is one of the term we are using like uh, you might you might be having these terms in the future called boolean retrieval model vector space model then we have a language based model and then nowadays we are having these neural models for information retrieval right so these these different models now i am saying models it is not for designing entire search system. It is for it is for designing these 
this particular block, this particular computing block in a cell system, which we are saying is the indexing here. So once you design a specific indexing mechanism, we can achieve different tasks within the same system. So you can modify one block and you can affect the overall performance in a different ways for different purpose, right? So you, you do not need to modify other elements. Like if I am targeting to modify indexing mechanism here, and naturally, if we are having different indexing approach, we will have different type of index data, right? So let, let, let me take one example. Uh, so suppose in the index database, in the beginning, we are keeping different keywords. So suppose you have extracted some of the web document websites by using text acquisition, by using crawler, and you have prepared the data, whatever data you have acquired, you have prepared the data in the form of keywords, right? Now, each keyword you can process by text, text transformation and based on some weighting scheme, you have performed TF, time frequency simply. And based on TF score, you have identified that all the keywords which are having TF value 10 from each website, each web page, I will be assuming them as a index term, right? So suppose you have crawled around 100 pages and for each page you have maintained these, these 20 or 30 terms from each web pages and now you are applying a scheme, waiting a scheme that based on the TF score of each keyword, we are going to, we are going to select top 10 terms and assign them or call them index index terms, right? So you can store these these are uh, frequently occurring top ten words into the index database from these twenty pages. So this is how you can initialize the initial index data. But this will this will affect this will severely affect your ranking and matching and overall system performance because. Whenever a user is submitting a query with a keyword, it is possible that few results uh, may be not selected in few cases because we have limited, we have the index database with top 10 frequently occurring keywords from each document. The remaining terms in these 20 documents will not be indexed and that's why these results, we, these pages will not be appearing. So after realizing this thing, you need to expand. You need to change the strategy of indexing. Or you can go for top 15, top 20, something like that. So this is how you can correlate that indexing mechanism significantly or uh, proportionally. You can use any term to say that it will affect the overall search experience, overall search performance, right? Because it is the index database where user query will be matched eventually. And based on that, you can generate the set of results by using document store. This is how a basic, uh, you know, naive way of conducting the search. So now you can assume that how it is critical to have a proper suitable or maybe, uh, you know, <laughs> optimized kind of index mechanism. Right. So whatever generations we have on the search system design, each and every search system, each and every retrieval process has something modified, something enhanced on the indexing block because it is significantly affecting the search performance. That's one thing. And by having a new kind of indexing mechanism always give you a possibility of improving the search experience. When I say improving the search experience means it is something related to getting the results for my need. Like nowadays we are having this query completion, query suggestion, query correction, query auto completion kind of things on the Google search system. And it is primarily well supported by, well supported by query completion, query suggestion, these are the tasks, these are the experiences 
during search are supported by having well optimized indexing mechanism so on the no, no, the basis indexing basic indexing mechanism where we are storing only keywords top 15 or top 20 keywords from each web document if we store if we store the you know neighboring keyword pro uh, with neighboring keywords of each index term so like if you are storing india as a index term now if your indexing scheme allows or gives you an idea that okay can we store uh, india with india gate something like that so all the neighboring keywords if you store at least with two length if we store or if you have a mechanism of indexing in this way we could provide a very good query suggestion or query completion experienced for the for the user something like that right so you can always have this flexibility as a system designer and you should have all these things on your objective that whenever i will be designing the search system it will have these kind of tasks supported to the user and for this task to the user i will be having my index structure in this way right and this is what we are seeing as a different generation of such system so one thing which is closely related to this this entire discussion which we have in the last 10 minutes it is called retrieval model like for database system we have said data model similarly for such system we are having different retrieval model because retrieval model defines retrieval model defines how we organize the data in index database and how we utilize this data to perform a search perform a retrieval task right so this is just a brief view whatever uh, whatever we are now going towards now from here if you see uh, because we have place different computational blocks we have seen the basic responsibility of each we have given you assignment to observe these all components their expected objective with respect to certain scenario which we are facing on daily life now let me uh, pose some of the uh, terms to you now after this you will be responding right i will, I will be raising, raising some questions to you and you need to respond so that i can expand these answers Right, so I'm saying now we are going to list down the challenges and issues for these different computing modules. Right, so naturally we are beginning with the retrieval side, retrieval block, where we are expecting responsible towards the user. Right, so in the retrieval block, what we have observed, we have placed user naturally, then we are having matching and ranking component and then we have evaluation component so for these three components we should have something observed we should have some ideas that on this this is the issue we will be facing this is what i have observed right so if you take the user support if you take or if you assume that okay i'm going to list all the issues which my such system will be addressing i will use all my own experiences as a user on the such system to list down the issues so challenge here is the retrieval block we are addressing the retrieval block part and within it within it we are have we are having some focus right now on the uh, on the on the development of some feature which can which can which can enhance support to the user right so supporting user is the issue how can you support how can your system support supports uh, provide supports to the user during his search experience right so naturally the very first and obvious thing is is basically how can system support on a specific thing which is called query formation right so you can you can let me know by enabling your audio that uh, if i am going to design a search system uh, because system is having or user is having this limitation and to address that we could have something designed right so like uh, just for your 
clarity or understanding point of view i have observed some of the limitation which user might be having with the system so like if you see the the, the user limitation like uh, user is not able to user is not able to identify his real information needs that is the situation we are facing that is the issue which user is facing user is not having any any idea that from where he has to start search so you can you can in the gui you can give a search box you can provide a basic term called submit or enter or start search or simply provide a button called start uh, exploring or anything it should be a very generic term so that any user can start his search right similarly you can have something on your gui on on your system which address a issue related to the user which says how to formulate or reformulate query you know formulating a query is a big challenge for user so is it possible some is it possible something we can place on gui because on gui user will be operating so we have to make some arrangements to address this issue which can help a user to formulate a query to reformulate a query during the second third second third fourth and the intermediate interaction right similarly we can have a, a concept or some 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 idea which which supports which helps the user to see which part of data is important so you can use some 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 highlighting approach some coloring scheme right similarly you can address or you can help the user by helping him on how to use results of initial query right so you can see you can uh, visualize or you can present some mechanism to see this correlation between user query and the first result set and and after that eventually user is not having any idea that when to change the result set like in the first page he could have these 10 results now should 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 it be uh, should it be like you just should go to the page number 4 or page number 5 so there are many issues which we can observe so this this particular snapshot is given i mean shown to you just for reference right because this is how we are conducting uh, the academic research at least for each challenge we observe a issue and for each issue we list down all the possible state of art actually state of art limitation i'm not saying one particular search system will be able to address all these issues all these threat threat concerns you can take one and this uh, and design right you can design a gui interface which will help user to see which part of data is important so in that in among these 10 results in the very first page for any query you can provide some mechanism to have an idea that this part of data is important to you to user right so for that you can provide some sort of visualization and that's why we are having a different area of uh, research and different area of system development that is called information visualization or data visualization right so this is how it is existing in the in the academic research world different individual works are being done to address different issues and their co-located uh, uh, concerns right i'm saying concern but in the future we will be using term called uh, research question right so because you are just beginning your work so you might be a little confused with this term called research question so i'm saying retrieval block is a challenging area of challenge user support is a issue and within this we have these research questions that's why they are placed as where how which how when what right so this is how a systematic way of going ahead uh, going ahead the system design so if you if you are really interested to address these issues you should be having some mechanism on your system so any individual who is interested to design a visualization system data or information visualization 
you could have this GUI, which might address some of the issues, some of the concerns listed here, right? So that's one part. You can provide some support to the user on query formulation, query formation, or you can write formulation also. Formulation. Similarly, you can provide some control to the user interact interaction with data or information object i'm saying about result i'm saying about query result you can always provide on the same gui you can provide some features through which user can interact like like we are doing in the case of google earth actually we are having initial query done then we are having this simple zoom in zoom out feature on the gui through which we can navigate navigate towards the specific region on the earth right so by that you can experience experience the data because this google earth is nothing but it is a simulated view of some data set in a, in a in a more realistic way Similarly, if you are observing to a certain data set, you can perform some navigation or you can have on the GUI to perform interaction, you can always have some feature through which you can uh, perform some sort of, you know, interaction with the data object. Like in the case of Google Earth nowadays, Google uh, search nowadays, we are having some, uh, some click based operation. You can, you can click it, you can open it, you can now select a text and perform right click to explore new search start new search something like that so you can provide all these features which might be required actually right now we are using only google search as a example platform there are many uh, <clears throat> and each and every search platform provides different set of supports to improve these interaction user interaction right so these are the two things which are related to user support you can always say me, say to me that, okay, sir, we, we need to have these things here, right? So these are the two portions. One is naturally how to help a user in his query formation or query formulation or reformulation, anything you can say. And second thing, once user is, uh, is, is able to see the results after the query has been submitted, what are the kind of interaction support our system is providing or can provide? Like you can see here, when we're saying when to change the current data source, it is about this, this interaction thing. Like after observing the first set of results, how users should be having this idea that, okay, now I have to change, I have, I have to change it. I have to go to the pin number 10 and uh, because there is a more important, more relevant uh, result is placed based on my current click on the result set R1. So there are many, many, many concepts, many, uh, many approaches have been designed. We are not specifying any specific algorithm right now. Uh, similarly, you can look for the second area of concern area of issues, which is related to effective matching and ranking approach, right? And naturally, when we are talking about matching and ranking the results, it is with respect to meeting the user expectation on the retrieve results, right? So because right now we are at the stage of matching and ranking, we have not displayed this result to the user. We are arranging them before giving it to the user, right? Because from here we have started, now we are moving towards the inner code of the system, inner portion of the system. So once we receive something from user, now we are having a query and for that we need to rank the results. We have to perform a match on the results, right? So let me precisely place like uh, first it is ranking, then it is matching. That's what it is happening. Ranking, uh, ranking is the first step with respect to user view. And matching is the second view because it is happening well within the system, inside the system portions, right? So it will it will basically basically talking about uh, arranging the 
retrieve results with this respect to user expectation so you can have a mechanism to rank the result right you could have some basis to rank the result right and uh, naturally for matching also you can adapt for any similarity or any matching approach there are many available because uh, this thing i think we have discussed in the last lab that there are many similarity mechanism nowadays we are having non similarity also so there are many ways to get the match values match results for for a user query right and there are many concerns there are criteria also like uh, the very obvious thing is that it should deliver topically matching results so topical means whatever query we have submitted user have submitted your system should deliver these matching results in the very first in the very obvious way and after that you can add a few results which are closely related closely relevant closely match so topicality or topical means whatever you have submitted for that you have to get exactly matching results and then you can add some of the additional results by the assumption that by the assumption that the query itself is not correct there might be some additional expectation of the user from the query so to 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 basically address the, those additional things additional interest of user we are providing some relevant results and this additional thing we are saying nowadays we are seeing as a interest we are seeing as a intent so in the in the in the modern system which we are consuming they are also focusing on intent dimension uh, yeah intent dimension right initially it was based on topical dimension topical they are focusing on the topical dimension or based on topical or dimension of the result right now they are also considering the second dimension which is called dam intent directly and how it is being modeled one of the example we have taken in the in the beginning that whenever we submit a query it is to serve the topical part whatever query you have submitted system will retrieve the results which are matching to them now for for some users it is giving some additional results also and after getting the first result set you use open some result you expose some you you share some of the results you save some of the results you click on some results so all these things are being continuously modeled by the search system to capture your intent part right and that's why after after engaging with a search system maybe five times six times your results are being improved right because nowadays we are having intent as well as topical elements modeled for getting the results right now uh, when we say these are the first these are the two things which we need to monitor which need to model into uh, the search system as a part of effective ranking and matching aspect second thing is that you have to you have to at least ensure that there will be a diversity among the results there will be novel results will be retrieved and then there are many criteria right because when you capture when you retrieve the results for a user query when you uh, when you model the intent to get the result set it is possible that you will leave, you will lose your system will lose these diversity and novelty among the results it it may be it is like it may be going for some local optima kind of thing it will be start searching the results again again for uh, for the query or for be maybe upcoming queries with the similar set of results right so in other words you can say these two aspects these two criteria says that you have to reduce the results overlap something like that so between two queries which are subsequent between two queries result r1 and r2 there should be lesser result overlap right and that is happening primarily because we are maintaining or we are carefully monitoring the diversity and novelty both novelty says you should retrieve the new result set not all but few results should be there which are new which will be new 
right that's one part diversity say whatever we have submitted whatever query term we have submitted whatever intent we have right now with respect to both results should be coming from diverse background diverse types diverse categories diverse modality whatever you say right so there are many criteria these are the just two just two prominent ones diverse and novel so it is to address this ranking and matching part and because this is how we capture the user interest now if you go beyond evaluation is there so after this part evaluation is the component which which in which impose which implements which enforce uh these criteria which we are saying is precision and recall and these are nothing to do with user experience i'm saying again and again with responsibility that precision recall factors are nothing to do with user experience user satisfaction for the result we have captured all these things here we have modeled all these elements which are related to user experience here right so all those concerns should be should be addressed during ranking and matching module they are there to maintain a level of results quantity of results which are there to improve the overall user search experience but these precision and recalls are being used to maintain a overall maintain a level of performance of a retrieval block at over at a particular level right so if i say system should generate the results with precision score up to 0.5 you can enforce right so it is the evaluation system or evaluation computing block which enforce these criteria on the retrieve result on the retrieval of the result right so it will enforce the precision recall then if results will be going to the matching and ranking block and then it will be sending it will be shared to the user something like that right so once we have done with this block i mean beyond these issues you can also list down few of them it could be a kind of exercise to you because in the examination your mid semester one we will have few question related to these things which we have discussed today right maybe a scenario based question will be there now after this because this is about this is related to closely related to user search experience each and everything which we have planned which we have addressed in the retrieval block is related to user search experience it is to enhance its experience it is to making more capabilities on the system to help a user right now what what we are what we are focusing on the index block the purpose of index block to make enhance the search system capacity itself the retrieval block is there to help to make capabilities into the search system with respect to user need so basically the retrieval block is is there to help a user in a most significant most uh, customized or personalized way right but the focus of index block block is to making this 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 the uh, whole retrieval process more efficient more capable right so if you see in the index block we have placed these blocks like acquisition transformation and indexing only three computing blocks are blocks are placed here but but here there is a challenging portion which we are observing because these three components will be interacting will be dealing with you know continuously increasing enhancing expanding set of data available in the internet and that is the challenging portion we have here because for for this part the retrieval part it is the it is the index database it is the equivalent data document which we are going to interact but for indexing block this this data set this data source or maybe internet is the challenge because there we will be having continuously expanding 
document set continuously increasing document objects so that is the big thing which challenge we need to manage we need to tackle with right so all the issues which we have we are having in the index block are related to only 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 this data part now you can see few of them are listed here right so obviously it is it is related to the performance of index block right because performance of index block performance of this this back end significantly affect the overall experience of the user on the search system right so the very first thing which we assume as a concern as a issue in the system is performance on efficiently searching and pre processing of relevant data object over the internet so the very first thing what because your system will be continuously monitoring the internet to get the new data object so suppose you have designed a designed a search system through which you can search uh, probably the different scholarships offered by different nits so suppose you have designed that basic platform now it is possible that the new scholarships are being introduced by different nits on a semester basis right or maybe uh, maybe uh, three months four months basis something like that so if you have designed a such system which can integrate all these informations so your system which you have designed your such system should sense to these websites of nits at least in the three month at least once in a three month something like that so in this case it is convenient but what about a scenario when say you have suppose you have designed a website which extracts the information related to maybe uh, vaccine updates or maybe the number of cases in the in the india number of cases happening in the different states so you should be your system should be continuously fetching these information objects that's the that's a challenge right so efficiently searching the data source and efficiently subsequently efficient efficiently pre processing these relevant data objects these are the first set of concern we have right so once you are able to deal with these two efficiently searching and efficiently pre processing so when i say pre processing it means it means it is about text transformation it is about indexing text transformation and indexing so suppose you are having this system designed with you which captures the updates on covid cases in india or maybe in any country you should be continuously observing to the some of the websites some of the listed sources obviously but there is a possibility that there may be new blogs there may be new social media posts there may be new sources which are revealing these details on a very efficient way so you should be always looking for these new sources from where you can get the required set of details right so that's that's the challenging part actually next challenge which we are observing as a issue it is the coverage and freshness among the data object and this is related to the first one only coverage means i'm saying whenever we are we have designed a system which can gather the objects you should always look for all the possible relevant all the possible other sources other data objects so coverage means you need to expand your algorithm always you need to enhance or expand the coverage the possible consideration of the object by your algorithm by your system that's one part secondly you you need to maintain a preferences maintain a, some sort of Uh, importance to the fresh the latest data object which we have received right so inclusion or including the fresh detail fresh data object for some for some processing is a challenge right because because the third issue says it is the scalability of data as well as scalability of users so whatever your system you have designed scalability of data is natural issue it is expanding so what if we have designed a system for this covid dashboard kind of thing there also 
expanding number of resources is the issue expanding number of possible users of your dashboard is also an issue because they will need different experience different users will have different uh, knowledge background they will have different expectation from your system so expanding data is natural challenge it is obvious challenge but expanding users it is also a uh, issue right now that is that is uh, about uh, or related to data now where we are saying as a new challenge it is called adaptability tuning for new application or policy or policies now whenever you are designing system your system will be going to uh, deploy on the webs of, on the internet it is consuming the internet data to respond to some user set naturally you will be going to interact with website to get the data you will be going to interact with the blog interact with the uh, some of the data sets right so your application should be able to adaptable enough compatible enough to interact with certain websites because some websites may be harmful some websites may not be accepting your data request right something like that so you should be flexible enough or polite enough to interact with your application should be polite enough to interact with other existing websites existing application and there might be some policies defined by uh, institute by a government so you sh your application should not be violating these policies right so we will be we will be discussing these policies because these policies are one of the critical part of system design you cannot design a system which can violate many condition and exploit the data from government systems or servers right you cannot do that yeah you can do that in the case of unethical hacking or maybe uh, if you are exploring to the dark web part by using dark web you can explore to any 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 space of the internet right so if you are designing a system for general use like google search we have you should have these you know so called polite policies polite application you can say polite and and so called uh, humble kind of application which can be easily interacting or compatible with other applications right there is this part i will take only a few minutes uh, to uh, to to complete this part uh, so after getting into these generic uh, these kind of requirements performance requirements on the index block there is the important part which part which we have just discussed it is called or it is related to the indexing indexing aspect and we are saying the representation of semantic space and this is related to your indexing block which we have discussed that you could have an index with only few keywords from each document you could have uh, index terms with neighboring terms in the index data and all those things because this is the you know you can say the heart of any such system any retrieval system that indexing part should be should be should be designed with utmost care it is a schema it is a most uh, you know crucial part of system design so semantic space representation is is basically controlled or done by uh, the indexing mechanism so efficient representation of index term or keyword is one of the critical aspect you should always adapt you should always design a uh, design a suitable indexing approach for your application now how you are placing index and co-located word is also a new dimension uh, also critical factor because nowadays each and every search system each and every retrieval process is having different supports to the user for for enhancing this experience right so to meet that you have to arrange your index term with some words or some term and if you place it carefully you can achieve many application supports to the system design there are few aspects like you could go for uh, go for a kind of uh, uh, a novel i'm just typing novel waiting scheme right you can always propose or design new waiting scheme right how you are going to wait or provide preference to one index term how you are going to arrange the waiting scheme for keyword indexed 
the keyword index term with its neighboring term because these these uh, weight values will be used during the ranking during the matching phase of a certain query right so uh, this is a very critical part and uh, maybe the area of uh, image processing maybe the area of any natural language processing this is something we will be touching upon so on your project work or your on your thesis work whenever you are dealing with text data whenever you are preparing uh, some sort of retrieval process or retrieval kind of scenario you should be carefully defining this index data or this semantic space right you can always read about uh, uh, this semantic uh, space representation or semantic uh, understanding kind of research articles you can read because it is it is common to all the possible student actually right now beyond these thing uh, there are some non functional aspects involved here which are related to the overall system performance overall uh, systems uh, acceptance by the diverse user and the very first one is the availability because it is it is uh, significantly related to uh, the revenue part which which is called return of investment roi so whenever you are designing a such system you will expect that it will be accepted or it will be used by the diverse set of users so your system should be equally available to each and every user and it will be responding to the request of each and every user in a similar way with the similar experience that is the challenge now it is uh, another aspect which we are referring as a robustness it should be responding to the user request on its di extreme difficult conditions right and that's why uh, the google search system is widely accepted because it is having these two features on its priority it is equally available for the users who is who is ever having uh, uh, access to the internet it is robust to the different conditions i mean maybe uh, less network bandwidth or anything it is robust to all these extreme conditions uh there is this third uh, non functional requirement which we are saying as a interoperability so when we are having these interoperability issue it means whenever you place some your system on the top of this search system it should be efficiently interacting with maybe a simple application maybe a website maybe a your uh, your, your some kind of terminal kind of system so if you place any additional system on top of this search system which you have designed this should be efficiently interacting on a different in a different situation or different protocol different models different presentation any way you can write right and you be usability is obviously there usability in the sense of how it can be adapted by the diverse diverse set of users maybe diversity in the form of country maybe in the form of language in the form of uh, skills the user is having maybe the form of knowledge the user is having so you sh it should be usable it should be easily accepted easily consumed by the user of different or diverse backgrounds right so these are the basic challenges which are faced by which are being addressed on the different search system platforms right so we have just placed these these so called um, existing issues and uh, there are many research efforts has been done or being done by the diverse uh, researchers in the world and even in the organizations which are dealing with these issues they are expanding these issues in some way by having some alternate mechanisms right so this is about uh, you know how we are going to expand each and every module for its 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 to deal with these issues on a different modules right so next lecture we will discuss how to how to improve and what are the different objectives we are having within the text acquisition and text transformation so text acquisition is having these two blocks which is called crawlers and feeders you can always search about this into the internet and how we are having different modern scenario problems for it right that's it for today's class uh, if you have any question you can raise
or maybe we can complete today's discussion. Anything you want to raise?